There's lots. Um, so picking one, I think, is a little challenging. But uh, it's, it, I would have to say it would be the multi-screen nature of consumption and the way that those walls are being broken down so people aren't just watching on their big screen TV on the wall. They're watching on the big screen while they're on their iPhone, while they're on their iPad. So multi multiple devices, multiple screens all being consumed uh, literally at the same time uh, across the family I think is, is kind of the biggest trend that, that uh, we're facing and that we have to deal with. I think it's a great mix of people. Um, seeing a lot of old friends, a lot of old colleagues who um, we've all kind of gone our separate ways. We've grown up in the industry together and it's great to get everybody back together at, at this stage of our career versus where we were you know five ten years ago at some of the other conferences and uh, we were shaping the future of advertising then with banners and buttons and text links and now we've evolved as the industry has evolved and now we're shaping the future of advertising with with video and, and the new forms of television so my future of TV is uh, what I've been saying for a number of years, which is I think it's going to an on-demand world. I think uh, the days of turning your TV on and it's going to be on CBS or ABC or NBC or ESPN, wherever you left it last, I think those days are going to be gone and you're going to put your TV on and it's going to be a home screen and you're going to have whatever apps you've chosen to, to place on your home screen and all the programming will be on demand. So. Thursday night programming won't be necessarily aired at 8 o'clock on Thursday, but the new episode of whatever show will be downloaded or uploaded uh, at a certain day, and it'll be available on demand for the next week, two weeks, whatever it is, and, and it's all going to be that kind of on-demand, totally targetable, addressable world where it's going to be uh, user choice of how they configure their TV viewing and not what's pushed at them but how they choose to come and, and whether it's YouTube that emerges as the, the kind of MSO that drives that, Google TV, Apple TV, obviously they're all competing for that space. How the cable companies react I think will be interesting to see but ultimately down the road I think that's, that's what TV is going to look like.